Hello there. In the XML parsers presentation, you have learned the three different types of parsers, namely DOM, SACS, and STACKS. You have also learned when to use which. From the DOM hands-on presentation, you have mastered parsing an XML document using the various Java APIs available for DOM parsing within JAXP, which stands for Java API for XML parsing. The objective for this presentation is to show you how easy it is to parse an XML document using the SACS APIs available in JAXP. We'll retrieve the contents of this order.xml file using the SACS API. The order XML has order as its root element within which we have two item elements. We are going to display the contents of all these elements here using the SACS API. A SACS pa parser unlike a DOM parser doesn't load the entire XML document into memory. It's a event based parser. It allows us to register a handler which is nothing but a Java class that we write and we implement the various callback methods within this class and once we register this class with the SACS parser it will call into these callback methods once it starts parsing the XML file. So let's look at our handler, handler class. The handler class extends the default handler which is a helper class in the SACS API. So we need not override all the methods when we extend a default handler. It provides us with some convenience methods and the methods we have to override are the start document, end document, start element, end element and characters. So these methods are invoked by the parser when we start parsing our XML document. Once we have the handler, we can register our handler class with our parser. To create the SACS parser, we use the SACS parser factory. So we create a parser factory instance first by invoking the new instance method on the factory, SAX parser factory from the JAXP API. And then we create our parser by invoking the new SAX, SAX parser method on the factory. Once we have the parser, we, we call the parse method and the parse method takes two arguments. The first one is, a, is the path to our order XML file. And the second argument is the handler, which we came up with the handler instance, which we have written. And the, when the parse method is invoked, the SAX parser starts parsing this order XML and it fires an event or it calls the start document method when it starts parsing this document. As soon as it starts parsing this document, then uh, it invokes the end document. When it completes parsing the document, it invokes the start element and it gives us the name of the element and uh, the namespace and the attributes on that element if any as soon as it hits the first element or any element within this XML. To see it in action, let's run our demo. And the shortcut for running any Java program in Eclipse is Alt Shift X J for Java. As you can see, the SAX parser goes through our order.xml and it keeps firing events as soon as it encounters each element within our order.xml file. In the in this demo we have used the system.out.println statements just to display the contents or uh, the events that are being fired by the SAX parser but in a real application our application logic will go into each of these methods to handle the XML data appropri appropriately. To summarize from this presentation you have learned how easy it is to use a SAX parser in the JAXP API to parse a XML document. It's a three-step process. We create a SAX handler by extending the default handler class and we provide callback methods or we implement the various callback methods which will later be invoked by the parser once it starts parsing the XML document. The second step, we register this handler with a SAX parser instance which we create using the SACS parser factory in the JAXP API. And when we invoke 
the third step is to invoke the parse method by passing it the path of the XML document and also the handler instance which we have just created. In the next JAXP hands-on you will see how to use the stacks API that is the pull, pull parsing API. Until then keep learning and sharing. Thanks for watching.